Well, then we will take a walk among our vineyards. We have got four vineyards, and now we will visit uh, one of them. Well, for instance, I bring you up here. Me and Haldi is always sitting here in the evenings. We are sitting here underneath the cedar tree. This is a cedar tree. And uh, we are sitting here and philosophy and thinking what we have done the last day and uh, what to do tomorrow and uh, feel real comfortable here with uh, now in the spring with with uh, I know, uh, crocus, iris and um, I think uh, they are called dollies, this, uh, yeah, this yellow and uh, real nice fresh air. Here you see it's also apricot. It's uh, well in, within 14 days they will be flowering. These are a lot of plums, apple trees. Very nice in, in May when they are flowering towards snow-covered mountains. You can see it's steep here. And uh, that's why it will gather a lot of energy. And here it's not windy. It's more windy down by the fjord. And you see here, we have got, uh, of course, a vineyard paradise has got to have a bow. And we have got a bow too, and it's, um, and, uh, <laughs> it's uh, roses. You can see also here is roses here. We don't use it, uh, it's just aesthetic. We don't use it in uh, southern parts. They're using roses to to uh, show when uh, the odium, powdery mildew, occurs on the roses. It will be one week later. It will occur on the wines. But we have not got powdery mildew, so we don't need roses for that. So here is the bow. And then you go into the paradise. It doesn't look like a paradise just now. It has to be pruned this uh, laying here. Here is the last ones we have to prune this year. And um, these are the eldest wines we have got. Uh, the trunks here are eight years. And you can see they are sapping now. And here uh, we started with this one and the this row was the first row, Haldis, um, we digged with our hands and we planted the first solaris here. So uh, it's a bit special now we have got this row left and this row and then we have finished pruning. A little bit late this year but uh, uh, it's like that when it's only me and Haldis but it's not too late but they are sapping more. Uh, immediately when uh, we are late. Uh, if I usually we try to finish in December and January, so it's not very ideal. But you see here we are cutting away a lot, so about 90 percent, and then they will be very strong here to give uh, nice clusters. You will see later, and. Uh, and I can demonstrate now what to do with this. You see here, it's uh, rushing up with canes in every direction. But they were producing last year. Now we have taken the upper part first away. And now I have to see 
uh, what kind I always look what will I I have to choose the right cane for this year to have clusters and uh, then remove everything else and uh, now when I, I'm looking at it here it can be this one or this one because coming out there in the sun last year it's very nice um, and I think instead of this one it could use this one this way but I will take all this away and cut here and use this one so I'll get a nice candelabra thing uh, and uh, I think uh, this will be no no I can't demonstrate I just take here and take off the, I should use a little um, smaller one here so done take away everything here and then I've got only this left take on this side and I take away lots of this you have to be really hard with it these are old and dry <clears throat> and uh, I think I'll use this one then I take also this one away and of course this one and I'll keep this because I have to leave two of these for next year and I use this one and not this one and I think I'll leave this one and not this one and then I take off this so I can take it down to the wire like this I wind it like this and, and tie it up again and now the winds uh, the clusters will come from these buds here and when they are bud breaking the, when they are about this high uh, they will come in a second bud I have to remove the second bud and also sometimes if I keep this I have to re remove this if I keep this I have to remove this so it's a lot of work during the season uh, here now you see it's really nice this um, these are for next year when the these are uh, bud break here and I keep one or two canes to go up and to bow down next year and next year maybe I take all this trunk away because I don't need both these arms I can have only this one but now I have to take this down and tie it I tie it here uh, and then now you can see it's I feel satisfied now and this uh, I have to tie it down there and maybe I can I cannot have this bird and this bird and this bird and this bird but sometimes if it's been a hard winter uh, uh, the canes will come through only with new buds maybe up to here and so it doesn't matter if it's uh, but if everything is bud break here I have to remove So 
This is the way we do it when we are pruning these old ones. Uh, because I've also got uh, only three, one, three year old wines. And um, they are, we are pruning quite different from, from this. But it's to, because the roots now is very strong and, and they will give nice big clusters. And because we are pruning hard, it, it will be, uh, they will ripen even faster. And here it, in 61 degrees north, it's important. You can see it sapping here now. It's running water from it. 